Hello, my dear students of class 9th. These are the questions which you asked to me as a doubt question. So, come, we will together solve this. First, you have to read carefully this question. When 5 gram of calcium is burnt, 2 gram of oxygen, then 7 gram of calcium oxide is produced. This is the first condition given there. Pahla condition hai ki 5 gram calcium ko hum burn karte hai 2 gram oxygen mein. To humko 7 gram calcium oxide milta hai. To what first we have to do? We have to make the word equation. And what is equation here? Calcium burnt in oxygen. Hello, my dear student of class 9th. Today we are going to solve your doubt question that I mentioned in your revision test paper. Now read this question carefully. When 5 gram of calcium is burned in 2 gram of oxygen, 5 gram of calcium is burned in 2 gram of oxygen, and what we get? We get 7 gram of calcium oxide. Agar hum 5 gram calcium ko burn karte hai, to humko 2 gram oxygen mein burn karte hai, to 7 gram calcium oxide milta hai. First make the word equation. Calcium burnt in oxygen. Then we get calcium oxide. Hello, my dear student of class 9th. Today we are going to solve your doubt question. The question that I was given in the revision question series. Read this question carefully. When 5 gram of calcium is burned in 2 gram of oxygen, 7 gram of calcium oxide is formed. Here the equation is calcium burn ho hai oxygen ke saath aur aise result humko mil raha hai calcium oxide. Do you have to first make the word equation? Word equation. Now what is word equation here? Calcium burn in oxygen as a result we get calcium oxide this is the word equation now two experiment is mentioned here according to experiment number one what happened five gram of calcium burn with 2 gram of oxygen and as a result we get 7 gram of calcium oxide. Okay. The second condition is also given here. What mass of calcium oxide will be produced when 5 gram of calcium is burnt in 20 gram of oxygen? 
what is experiment number two in second case you have to calculate what mass of calcium oxide let us suppose the mass of calcium oxide produced or obtained is x then what is the mass of calcium and oxygen here the mass of calcium mentioned in the question is 5 gram and mass of oxygen is 20 gram you have also verified which law of chemical combination govern this answer okay we have two laws according to our ninth class syllabus first is the law of conservation of mass and second is the law of constant proportion see here we have to analyze the law of conservation of mass how we know that according to law of conservation of mass law of conservation of mass the mass of mass of reactant is always equal to mass of product now check here in experiment 1 in experiment number 1 if we talk about the mass of reactant what is the mass of reactant here the mass of reactant it means mass of oxygen plus calcium or you are able to write calcium plus oxygen that is a similar thing okay and what is the mass of product is actually the mass of calcium oxide okay now what is the mass of oxygen and calcium it is 5 plus 2 and what is the mass of calcium oxide 7 what we get here 7 is equal to 7 it means the mass of reactant is equal to mass of product okay now in experiment number 2 what is going on experiment number 2 what is the mass of reactant mass of reactant is actually the mass of mass of calcium plus mass of oxygen mass of oxygen okay now what, what we get here it is equal to 5 plus 20 and this is equal to 25 gram we know that according to the law of conservation of mass mass of reactant is equal to mass of product mass of product okay but the mass of product is not given here but we know that mass of reactant is equal to mass of product so if the mass of reactant is 25 gram what is the mass of product here mass of product what is the mass of product product means calcium oxide calcium oxide and here we mention it as x so what we get x is equal to 25 gram according to law of conservation of mass the mass of reactant is always equal to mass of product so on the basis of that law we are able to conclude the answer of this question first question is what is the mass of calcium oxide produce that mass of calcium oxide produces 25 gram okay and second which law governs this this is the law of cons law of conservation of mass okay now we are going to write the answer what is the answer the mass of calcium oxide 
produce in experiment number 2 is equal to 25 gram and second part of the question is which laws govern this is verified by law of conservation of conservation of mass my dear students i just think you must very well able to answer this question Okay, dear student, this is this is your second doubt question from my revision syllabus. Again, I told you, in the, you have to read the question carefully. What is given in the question? The answer is in an experiment, 4.90 gram of copper oxide was obtained from 3.92 gram of copper. In another experiment. 4.55 gram of copper oxide gave on reduction 3.64 gram of copper. Do reaction hai. Basic equation kya hai? That we call the word equation. First write the word equation. Word equation. That is copper reacts with oxygen or reduce then oxygen to form copper oxide okay this is the reaction now what is the given here 4.90 gram of copper oxide was obtained by reduction of 3.92 gram of copper okay must going on we have to calculate we have to verify the law of constant proportion so we have to find out the percentage of copper oxide so to calculate the percentage of copper oxide in experiment number one experiment number one we have to calculate the percentage of copper oxide percentage of copper oxide now to calculate the percentage of co copper oxide what we have to take we have to take the mass of copper upon mass of copper oxide mass of copper oxide and as we know that if we have to calculate the percentage, we have to multiply that ratio with 100. Now what is the mass of copper is given in experiment number 1? It is given 4.90. This is 4.90. Oh no, sorry, it is given 3.92. Okay, I am going to write it again. Equal to copper is 3.92 and mass of the copper oxide is 4.90 and to calculate the percentage we have to multiply it with 100 now calculate simply decimal two place yahan par bhi hai two place yahan pe bhi hai cancel ho gaya isko multiply karo isse divide karo when you solve this question you get the answer that is 80 percent okay so what is the Percentage of copper oxide in the experiment number 1, it is 80%. Now, we are going to calculate this percentage in experiment number 2. The procedure is same. The percentage of copper oxide 
this is a reduction process from where we get the copper oxide okay again the mass of copper mass of copper is divided by mass of copper oxide mass of copper oxide into 100 c what is the mass given here here 3.64 gram of copper is reduced by 4.55 gram of copper oxide then multiplied it with 100 solve kiddo. here also you get the 80 percent okay it means whatever the source is there the mass is always constant means the mass is in the constant proportion okay so we are able to write here that in answer what is going we have to write in the answer the percentage of the percentage of percentage of copper oxide copper oxide in both the experiment in both the experiment experiment is constant that is 80 percent is constant that is 80 percent so it verifies it verify the law of the law of constant proportion चलो मुझे ऐसा लग रहा है दोनों क्वेश्चन आपको समझ में आ गया है अगेन अगर कुछ डाउट है तो यू आर एबल टू राइट द कांस्टेंट यू आर एबल टू राइट इट इन योर कमेंट ऑल द बेस्ट फॉर एग्जाम्स बाय बाय